Uh, PM, don't worry. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so, like, Mario's, like, mid-range options, like, even though they're not, like, huge swords or anything, like, they're just good enough to, like, be poking at Snake a lot consistently in, like, his juggle game. His up air is the game on Snake, basically. Yeah, Mario's up air in this game is the most insane so move in his damage, kit. Yeah. It just the infinitely, like, combos into itself. The character is an up air. Like, yeah, they, they took everything and they pretty much stuffed it into up air. <laughs> they neutered the rest of you know, Mario. For all I've been saying about how this, the character like wasn't that good at the start of the game, like there's been a lot of Mario's like getting results. Yeah, so, they're doing I things. Guess, yeah. The character still still mixes people. On yeah. hit, he does the same thing he does in Smash 4. I guess so. He just maybe. doesn't find it at a down throw now, really. Mm -hmm. And just like, he can't fish for up smashes as much. Yeah, that, yeah, that's another big that's one. That's really important. But you know what? Okay. I mean, maybe the engine just kind of supports what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, I guess, like, you, you aren't able to really block Fireball anymore. That's kind of a big deal. Like, it's more safe. Yeah, it's an actual... In Smash 4, it was pretty easy to disrespect. Mm -hmm. There was very few characters that had to. But JT definitely scared in neutral against right. the Snake, it looks like. So, going for the down throw up tilt, running into the forward smash. Uh, that's that's a strong move. That's scary. You don't want to run into It is, yeah. yeah. My guy's uh, looking a little bit nervous right now. Yeah, that's okay, It, it feels a little jumpy. Keeping his footing, though. Hitting him with two smash attacks. Uh, got him in the air. Very important part about killing Snake is you just gotta keep him in disadvantage. Like he, when he's in the air, his usual options are to pull the grenade or try to upbeat to safety. Yeah. And when he pulls the grenade, he can only throw the grenade or like land and shield. Yeah. So, he, I mean, he can air dodge. He can air dodge too, but like he's gonna have to hit the ground somehow, and then you can just grab him instead of you don't feel like trading with the grenade. Yeah. And then you throw armor off the grenade. Yeah. Because trading with Snake often doesn't result in a good trade for you, especially when you're a stock down. Yeah, you do yeah. not want to be trading with but Snake in this situation, but... Looks like we're going to get that air dodge to ledge missing, so good, yeah. good stock for JC there. Okay. We're really trying to see the combo game come out. We don't see... He's using almost none of Mario's, like, extremely strong landing aerials. I, did Snake get hit by his own C4 into the down smash? Like, he, he's a Yeah, that's what it looked like. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't think he thought he was going to get hit. Oh, oh, that was so right. quick. Yeah, we're stuffing that this time. Snake's F smash is very slow. Like, okay. For as strong as it is, like it's like read. basically a D to D forward smash on Snake. Yeah, that's yeah. literally what it is. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's good at covering ledge too when he throws out a million explosives. Exactly. And yeah, you're Snake, confused. Snake's ability to just like create set play opportunities with how many projectiles he has and his just ledge trap. That was so general. good. Yeah. The back throw into the grid. Oh, it makes the hitbox. It mm -hmm. makes it go off. Rolling back and forth and get any up tilt. Snake tilts a uh, legendary song. Play like, the game for him. Yeah, it's like he crutches on him. Like, he's so good when he's very far away from you and then very close to you. Yes. There's a bit of a gap in between, which is kind of what you need to exploit when you're fighting. I love the parry punch. Yeah. Well, Unfortunately, jump, it wasn't a sweet spot forward smash up the parry, but it still might not kill. Nah, sweet spot would definitely kill. Ah, uh, snake is thick. That like Mario's didn't even F smash oh, no. is really strong. It is, I know. Yeah. It is. Okay, it might have killed. Like absurdly strong. Yeah, it would have killed Snake. Oh, uh, <laughs> that was sad. Seeing how smash not kill people, is that like. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, mean, I don't think killed they would have Smash killed Snake in Smash 4, yeah. yeah it doesn't kill honest. Corrin at 120 in Smash 4, so... Okay, is he gonna... Snake's pretty heavy. There we go. Finally seeing abuse of his really here. bad landing option. Hitting him back off stage. Oh, no! Oh, wow. Uh, he would know, have been able to blow yeah, himself up. It didn't really matter. At 170 anyway, so. He would have died off the top if he didn't. That's such a huge nerf for Snake in this game, because before it was like, alright, I can go Infinitely really low, I can hit the 200, yeah, it's like, alright, this is how we do it. And but it was fine, because there was like a bit of a skill check on doing it. You still had yeah, to you still tech. attack it. You still attack it at 200, it's not easy. You can still get an intercepted too. Yeah, yeah, there was still some counterplay to it for sure. But, but uh, mechanics of the game they changed. They didn't feel like giving Snake that much health anymore. So we're going <laughs> to the up tilt. Impressive stuff Slip to that land. Leg. I like the creativity, Ooh. but the Nikita is going to untackable. Get yeah. the red spark. and it's going Not to much you're going to be able to do about Send that. him off the side. Snake, quick game one. Uh, I'd like to see JT... Uh, he's not getting enough off his neutral, wing, uh, neutral yeah, wins. He's I not being like adequately rewarded every time he wins neutral. I guess the way to sum it up is just more up airs. More up airs, More yeah. up airs, yeah. You're playing Mario. Like, you gotta... You gotta get comfortable with your combos. If you're going blow for blow with Snake, you are not winning. No. Yeah, definitely not. Unless you were, like, a fatty, like, Bowser or something. Yeah. Then maybe... Unless you're doing, like, 15% per hit. Yeah, Ganondorf, all right, you got it, bro. Like, even then Ganon can mix you, like... Everyone mixes. Everyone mixes an ultimate. If yeah. you don't mix, you're not an ultimate. <laughs> you're not an ultimate character, yeah. Kirby DLC. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we going to see the mix up of the character? No. Nope. Palette swap? Nah. Keep it the Builder same. Mario is Builder Mario. I do. I hard respect Mario mm -hmm. Maker. Mario.
This is it's the best costume, I think. Definitely. Some people will stand the wedding one, but not. Nah, I don't nah. think the wedding Bob was the, the best. Bob the Builder is like Odie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Building up some combos right now. Yeah. All right. Here he's up here, but not gonna I think get he's a Smash Four Mario. Yeah. I I'm seeing like... things you would have done in four. Uh, I played a little bit of Mario, like a little bit. He's up here. Well, uh, in four. Oh, in this, yeah. yeah, I was talking about this game. Yeah, obviously, mm. I played him in four. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I love using it again. Yeah, I like that he identified that. That's very smart. Using the grenade to hit Snake himself. That's really important because you can use a lot of Snake tools against himself. But Cape as well can reflect his up smash back down. Right? So, yeah, yeah, really, really good. nice tool to have a reflect through against Snake sometimes. He could have converted so hard off of that back air. And the, nice ups, the up air conversions. Even at like 80%, you could probably land like three up airs or two up airs of the on stage. JT's holding down the corner well against Albatross, but he's, Albatross seems to be sneaking these rolls in and trying to find up tilts. This time it's not working quite as well, though. JT yeah. seems to be more aware and just keeping this pressure going. Yeah, it looks like he's calmed down a lot. He was really going for like super duper hard really reads jittery. on all of the disadvantage states that Albatross mm -hmm. was in last game, and now he's just like, Unfortunately, just back here and do it again. A C4 auto detonate is going to put him in this disadvantage to taking so much damage. Nikita. Only got hit by four four moves there, and he took went from 50 to kill percent. Yeah, Nikita was uh, too much for him there. Mm -hmm. Mario could just like nair Nikita though. It, it is, or you can yeah, down air. So when you hit Nikita, options. it becomes inactive for about a second. So the miss input it there gives you time. I respect that. Yeah, he's he looking, got that. It would have killed. Oh no! Just those two moves doing 43 snake does so much damage. You do not want to be. Every time JT hit. lands, he's landing. Like intentionally drifting into him and landing directly on top, even when he has yeah, a ton of room. Getting on the a stage. little greedy. I I'm not sure. This is definitely not what you want to be doing against Snake when you're at no, a depth. You don't want yeah. to land on top of Snake. Yeah. You it's, could die to up tilt. Up tilt is a crazy move. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Better to. Best is really important that you watch that C4. Okay. Didn't drop into it, but look at up tilt so again. strong. I'm not sure if. Uh, there we go. All right. Good punish. I'm not sure how much composure JT's having to face of all these oh, up tilts, especially no. that he's stickied. <laughs> <laughs> the sticky mission on Mario is hilarious. It covers the M it's on, on his, his head. Hat. Yeah. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, okay. JT. I think the biggest struggle for Modesty right now is his main neutral movement option has been rolled. Yeah. The entire game. Mm -hmm. That's a, kind of a problem because a Snake attacks kind of in uh, in bursts. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Like. He's either using a tilt that's close to him or he's dash attacking you from mid range. And if you're spacing yourself outside the range of his tilts, he's gonna try to dash attack your run up up tilt, yeah. which he's doing right now. And then once he's got you in those bad spots, he could like set up his projectile wall. Yeah, especially because there's times like the range right there, like, um, oh, that was good though. Right. Yeah, I like he's a spot dodge. Spot dodge really good against match. Snake. The fair Yo, coming out with the sour spot. Killed him with the armpit. You gotta okay. love that. Copy and Doc for a second, showing him what's up. <laughs> But uh, gonna take that right back. Albatross evening up the game. Have yeah, you taken both these stocks? No, the last one was Nikita. Uh, yeah, but what else? Is this, this is so much explosions right yeah. now. JT is doing a really good job. That was interesting. Yeah, a lot of yeah. cases and stuff. Of getting into the range where Snake's not far enough away to just throw grenades and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, like, he's using that space to roll behind Snake. And like, you yeah. don't have to do that against you Snake. You don't have to do that. When you see a full grenade, you can dash up, you can grab him. You can grab him. He can't really attack out of that state. He had to throw he the can. grenade first. And he was shield. doing such a good job recognizing that back throw is blowing up the grenades mm -hmm. when you grab him. And you're racking up so much damage doing that. Mm -hmm. All right, there's the punish. Forward be smash, C4 not yet. Smash to before. He was at 60 at the ledge. Okay, yeah, you're right. It's strong, but it's not that strong. Mm -hmm. And now he finds himself at this vendor's off station with Nikita. Oh, can we get a tech? No, we don't oh, even, wow. can't even get one. Yeah. That kill, that move is strong. 2-0, JT goes down to Albatross. So how Nikita's strength works actually is uh, the faster Further, it's headed. The faster. Yeah, it's like the, you can change the speed. When it turns around, it loses speed, but like, yeah. it speeds up really quickly again. So mm -hmm. if it's going max speed, it's actually really strong. Okay, that's how it works? Yeah. I heard some people say it was distance traveled. I wasn't 100% sure. No, but I believe I take your word for it. I think you know. Yeah. I think you know. So, there are uh, definitely been moments where like it's just circling around the ledge and it doesn't kill you, and then it's yeah, like, you're oh, like 150. You're like, oh yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> then you die at 16 in Akita, and you're yeah. like, huh? 